Miles, have you decided if you want to play golf today? How come you don't want to play? I'm not feeling it. How about I give you a biscuit for every hole that you play? Do you want to shake on it? Right, now you're all ready to go. You're all dressed. Oh, come on. You could at least look a little bit enthusiastic. Hello and welcome to another video here on my channel, Nick Does Golf. Really glad you can make it for this one. Today we're going to try and play golf like Bubba Watson. As we've seen for a number of years now, Bubba Watson is an artist at shaping the shot. Whenever there needs to be a creative shot, he is the one that can produce it. Along with Tiger, of course. Bending it round trees, hitting it over corners. This guy is one hell of a player for doing this. I'm going to try and replicate some of the things that he does. Now, technique wise, there is no way on this planet that I can hit the ball like he does. However, shaping the shot, I'm going to give it a go. So I'm going to put this to the test. I'm going to play nine holes, shaping every single shot that I can. I will put the shot tracer on my drives and my second shot just to give you a visual on how much bend there is, whether I fade it, draw it, whatever the shot may be. This one's going to be a lot of fun. Let's get into this. This is Nick Does Golf. yards I'd normally hit a nine eight or nine and it's come up short into the bunker that is how strong this wind is it's crazy it's gonna be really tough especially shaping these shots look at this part in that just shows you how windy it is so walked off the first managed to save a really good par normally that's a straightforward hole but with that wind being such a massive factor, I'm gonna have my work cut out for this next eight holes. So hole two, normally a short hole, but again, into the wind. This one's gonna be playing tough again. Let's see what I can do. Just to make it a little bit harder, I've forgotten my glasses. Well done, Nick. Good one. So I just made another good par save there, making this really hard work i actually don't know how bubba watson does this because it's just crazy trying to shape all these different shots it's mad next up we've got a par five a third hopefully we can make a birdie just to take off some of the pressure and make it a little bit less work for myself <laughs> Once again, had to save par. A little bit unlucky with a third shot, but that does happen in golf. I literally do not know how Bubba Watson has this much energy to expend. I'm already exhausted after three holes, so God knows what he feels like. But onwards and upwards onto the next hole. Let's go.
fade Dean. 40 yards into the flag. Surely he doesn't hock or fade these. Okay, so four holes done. Every single one I've parred, it's been hard work. This next one is a very tasty one. As you can see in this corner here, we've got a par three. The green keepers have been really nice. They've put the tees at the back and the hole is at the back of the green as well. So it's made it even longer. Plus there's a crosswind. This one's gonna be very interesting. So let's see how we get on. So my attempted draw off that tee shot has ended up a good 40 yards right and a bit long as well. <sighs> Distance control, like I said before, just totally goes out the window. This is a good point for me to say. This is why checking your yardages with your clubs is massive. If you can do that, you're gonna play better. You're gonna be more consistent. You're gonna hit more greens. It's as simple as that. So walking off there with a bogey, tried to give the par putt a go, just clipped the edge of the hole, went past, tapped in four. Next hole, par four, dog leg to the right. Let's see if we can make birdie. I've absolutely nutted that tee shot. However, it didn't make it over the trees, clattered into them and dropped into the middle. I've got a tree in front of me. As you can see, the hole is just slightly to the left of that. I'm in a true bubble Watson scenario here, so I'm gonna try and bend it left to right and get it somewhere on the green if I can. I think one of the big things to note about playing golf like this is to recognize that you may potentially have one shot that you're better at playing than another. So for example, my natural shot is a draw. From today's experience, it just shows me that I need to work a little bit more on that fade just to almost help me whenever I get in a sticky situation. So I managed to scramble again for par. One over through six holes, three holes to go, par three to come, let's go. Unfortunately, I didn't convert that big putt, so we're still on one over. Two really hard holes to finish. Okay, let's see how we get on with this. I'm pretty sure I'm in between those two trees, so this is gonna be another bubble shot. Save by the looks of it. Okay, so great sand save there. Parred it, one over, going down the last. Par five to finish. 
We're going to boom on off the tee and see what happens from there. Smash that drive down there with a draw. 230 yards left in, downwind. I'm going to try and hit a nice little cut into this final green. Hopefully we can make a birdie. Wow, we struck that really well. So I'm really hoping that that has made the green. The ditch is literally right in front of the green. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed that it's actually got over and I can just two putt to finish level. Woo. Wow, I've just made it over the second ditch. Take a look at this. Here's the second ditch. And there is my ball. So I've got a nice chip, if I can chip that close, tap it in for birdie, we finish level par for the day. And there we have it, nine holes, I managed to finish level par by playing like Bubba Watson. Wow, what an experience that was. That was a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. Having to change certain things to hit those different shots all the time was incredibly difficult for me to get my head around. But things to note, shot shaping is incredibly important when you need it. If you can utilize these shots and play them all out on the course when you need to, it's gonna hold you in better stead for sure. Guys, if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel, like and comment on them. I'd love to hear your feedback on them and to give me any other challenges that you would like me to do. Make sure you check out all my social media platforms on Instagram, Twitter and TikTok to keep up to date with everything that I'm doing, all the cool content and all the other videos coming up. Thanks for watching guys and see you all very soon.